Hey, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a um, video, special video for you guys today. I brought it up a bit a few weeks back when I did the um, um, my review of um, Top End Wedding, which I'll put down a description. A, I'll put a link down in the description bar below of this review. And this is about um, supporting the uh, Australian film industry. Um, this is something that I am, I, is something that I like to talk about, or something, I, I don't really talk about, but it's something important to me, um, this topic, just because, um, for a number of reasons, which I will state and elaborate a little more on to it. Uh, so, um, so when I saw Top End of Wedding, um, during the credits, it said, um, just before the credits, and it said, credits, and in brackets, and then below it, it said, um, um, you have legally supported this, uh, film, and, um, and the career, um, helped uh, the following people, people with these jobs, and when I saw that, I was so happy someone brought that it was mentioned. No one, a lot of people saw it because people were leaving, you know, to the credits. But it was important to say that just because people don't go into the movies, they don't realise that you're actually supporting the um, film industry. Um, even though majority, like all the movies we see, come from um, Los Angeles, from Hollywood. And then there are. And then this, you don't see a lot of um, Australian films in the cinemas being distributed here in Australia. That um, to see Top End Wedding coming here, um, that's Gwilym Lee, who was in Bohemian Rhapsody, played Brian May. The, even though they brought him on as well, he, he they shot it before Bohemian Rhapsody was a big thing, I must say. Um, just like, like, like you you don't realize when they said that you're like really supporting it. You don't realize you're giving the you're putting um you you're actually kind of but buying the ticket. You are kind of pay, paying, giving those people a wage or some money. Like you don't realize you're giving the makeup artist the money, the the camera operator, the writing manager, whoever you're giving them. You spend fifteen dollars on a ticket, but that small portion will go into the writers, or whatever, whoever, whoever it's going to. I don't care who they're getting paid, and that's why I just mainly buy DVDs. I'll show you one day how my DVD collection was like clear on my desk. My DVD collection, just because. If I buy these DVDs, I know it's going to go straight into the um thing. It's going to go straight into the sh the film industry. People are going to make money, and and it's money. I just want them to know I support you. You and you have a job. You get paid. Like um, like uh, there were some good shows in Australia, like which one? Love Child. Um, Tom Miranda Tapsell one. Who's from Top Head Wedding? And she, she was one of the characters. That was like four seasons, and they stopped it. And the actors lose their jobs. The directors, the um, the makeup artists, the lighting, the lighting people, the sound, the editors, the who else? The camera operators, the assistants, and all of them. You don't realize that. They don't go to, they're not going to have a job, they have to look for work. And it's very hard here in Australia, I'm being unemployed for now, for a year and a half already, that people, it's going to, it's hard to get a job. Some people are there that, they're whoever, like for example, Love Child, it might have been their first job and it might have been there for like, season, the last season. That's like a long, not a year, year and a half, depending how on their job, and then when they go to the next job and they have them on the resume, the probably the, the next show or movie they're going to do 
is um that people won't know. People will say no. Like if you're playing, but you don't have as much experience. It's like, but I did Love Child. It's a well-known. People watch that show. A lot of people watch it. So nah, not good. No, nah, no, no. So that's where I'm coming from. And the um, and then there are the the government have made their own um thing called Screen Australia, which I've put in the other movie, which I'll put down this one as well, where they give grants, where they promote. Mm, Movies that some movies at Hollywood movies that actually get made here in Australia, which is a good thing, which has boosted the economy. You know, people get jobs, Australians get jobs, Aussies get jobs, which is an amazing thing. Which is, I would love to work with in a Hollywood film if it comes, but really, I don't even hear of any movies coming to Melbourne being filmed in Melbourne. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, so, which is good, the Screen Australia actually give you a thing, if you go into the website, there's some section of upcoming films or TV shows being filmed. You can have a look, have a scroll, um, put it, it's down below. I don't know, and then the, each state have their own, own like, agencies. Like, you know how you, so like this, I'm from Melbourne, but, um, so they have, we have Film Victoria, which I'll put down below. And I'll put also the ones for New South Wales, Queensland. Um, Northern Territory, South Australia, Western Australia, and Tasmania. I'll put the other ones as well. And I'll shop at OCD, which is Canberra. Might be Screen Australia because it's the funniest. Anyway, if there is one, I'll put it down. Which is important because if these shows don't come to Australia or movies, these Hollywood movies come to Australia, people won't have jobs. The economy, I think, is not up. It's not. It's not going to be boosted. Just why I try and buy me DVDs. I never download movies. Helps boost the economy. And all that. Even though I don't get a lot from the government. So yes, that's all for my video for this week. I'll see you next week with a new video. See you then. Bye.